This section covers the installation of the Rolls Infinity Reinverter. The function of the Rolls Infinity Reinverter to correct the indirect image provided by the Merlin surgical lenses. Recall that the Merlin surgical system uses indirect lenses, meaning that the retinal image they produce is upside down and left right reversed relative to the actual retina. This image must be corrected for the physician to perform retinal surgery. The reinverter achieves this correction by means of an optical prism. This discussion assumes that you are familiar with each of the main components of the Merlin surgical system and how they function, as well as how to install and align the system. For information on the Merlin system's installation, alignment, and its components, consult your user instruction manual. The main steps involved in mounting a Rolls Infinity are 1. Determine whether a Zeiss or Leica style mounting collar is needed. 2. Determine the appropriate location on the microscope to install the device. 3. As needed, disassemble the microscope, install the device, and then reassemble the microscope. First, determine the style of mounting collar your microscope has. If your microscope is made by Leica or Wild, then it will use the Leica style Rolls Infinity. Zeiss and all other manufacturers follow the Zeiss style mounting collar design. The mounting collar style of each Rolls Infinity Reinverter is very easily identified. Models using the Zeiss standard are engraved with a Z, and models using the Leica standard are engraved with an L. Please note that Zeiss and Leica mounting collars are not interchangeable. You must confirm which mounting collar style your microscope has to successfully install the Rolls Infinity Reinverter. Next, determine the appropriate location to install the Rolls Infinity Reinverter on the microscope. Many surgical scopes already have other devices attached to the stack of the scope. The stack of the scope is the optical column above the objective lens, up to and including the surgeon's oculars. Such devices could include assistance oculars, a camera mount, or a laser filter. It is important to install the Rolls Infinity in the most appropriate position in the stack given any other devices already installed. In general, it's best to install the Rolls Infinity as close as possible to the physician's oculars, preferably directly below them. Make sure other devices, such as laser filters, remain in their original positions relative to the physician and assistant oculars when the Rolls Infinity is installed. It's also suggested that you confirm your intended installation location with a physician prior to installing the Rolls Infinity Reinverter. Start by removing the physician's oculars. Again, typical tools required will be a standard screwdriver or a hex wrench. Loosen the locking bolt until the oculars can be removed. Place the Rolls Infinity on the scope and confirm it is seated correctly by checking the gap between the scope and the Rolls Infinity housing. Also confirm that the Rolls Infinity cannot rotate on the scope. Tighten the locking bolt to secure the rolls to the scope. To reinstall the physician's oculars, place them directly on top of the rolls infinity. Use the hex driver that came with your rolls infinity to tighten its locking bolt. This will secure the physician's oculars to the rolls infinity. Reinstall on the microscope any other equipment you removed in the process of installing your rolls infinity.